A great keyframing exercise for learning Avid Media Composer is creating a moving film strip. Start by marking in and out points for a series of six clips. Whatever value you choose, make sure you use the same duration for all your other clips. In this example, I'm going to make the clips three seconds each. Drag all the clips from the bin window directly to the timeline. This will create a new sequence, so make sure you give your sequence a name. Place the position indicator at the first frame of your sequence. I recommend turning on the Clip Durations feature from the Timeline menu to make sure all your clips are exactly the same duration. Delete any audio tracks that you may have. You can do this by deactivating the tracks you want to keep and then press the Delete key. Move over to the Effects palette located within the Project window. Click on the Blend category and find the Picture-in-Picture -picture effect. Drag the Picture-in-Picture -picture effect to the first clip in the timeline. Click on the Effects Editor button. On the Record side of the Composer window, zoom out a bit so you can see the edge of the visible picture area. Drag the clip so it's at the extreme right edge of the visible picture area. Click on the first keyframe within the Composer window. Drag the clip to the other side of the visible picture area. Go ahead and press the play button in the record side of the Composer window. Notice how the clip moves through the frame. Drag this effect icon from the effect editor and drop it onto the other clips. Now all the segments have the same effect. Close the effects editor and play the sequence. Notice how each clip plays across the screen one clip at a time. The last step is to layer these segments so we have a continuous film strip. Add two additional video tracks by right clicking in this gray area. Move this video monitor icon up to V3. Move the playhead indicator to the front of the timeline. Move forward until the first clip is completely on screen within the visible picture area. In this case, this distance is exactly one second. This distance is important because it's going to be the same value over and over again for each incoming clip. Click on the red segment arrow at the bottom of the timeline to enter into segment mode. Hold down the command key and drag the second clip up and over to the blue indicator on V2. The command key will help you snap your clip directly to the blue position indicator. Move forward another second within the timeline. Before placing the next clip, make sure you click on the red segment arrow again. Drag the clip up and over to the blue indicator on V3. The rest of the clips follow the same pattern as the first three. Go ahead and move them into position. That's it. Now you have a moving film strip. Go ahead and play your sequence to see how it plays out. For other great tips and tricks like these, or to enroll in a certified Avid Media Composer training course, visit GeniusDV.com.